You know you're single when you're sitting and smiling at your phone and someone asks, Who's got you smiling like that? Nobody. It's just memes. Men are so good at pretending at first. Mm -hmm. They're so good at being on their best behavior at first. Men start to unravel who they really are in like that six month mark. And I've noticed that. Because of the standards that you have, and men are trying to get you. But guess what? They can't maintain those standards. So you have to see they are real jobs and deal with it. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> so I think this needs to be stated. Your first job as a mother is to choose a good father for your kids. Oh. Your first job as a mother is to choose a good father for your kids. Oh. <laughs> and a lot of y'all are failing at that. Because Guys, is she talking about a situation where a woman sleeps with a Ray Ray and then she has, uh, uh, a, she becomes pregnant and then she lies on another guy because the other guy is more financially stable? Or is she talking about the situation where a woman has three kids from different uh, baby daddies and then she has to pick uh, a high value man? Like, I'm confused here, like, I'm confused. Why doesn't she talk about, like, picking a, a great husband? Or a good husband? <laughs> Let's watch. Thus, choosing the father of your kids is probably one of the most important decisions you make on behalf of your kids. Because this is the same man that not only you have to be able to depend on, but your kids have to be able to depend on. So make this choice count. I have a question for the men. Do you guys still want to get married? Like, is that still a thing? Fun fact, most men aren't avoiding marriage. They're avoiding divorce. I'm sure if you speak to a lot of fellas, they'd say that they'd like to get married. You know, settle down with someone for life. But let's look at what incentives are out there at the moment. We've got stuff like this all over social media. 70% of divorces are filed by women. I left my boyfriend and I've been traveling for 10 days and I've slept with 22 people in that 10 days. <laughs> this is a daily reminder that women do not cheat. Women have never ever cheated. And if you say they've cheated, you're a liar. If a woman gets herself into an entanglement, it's because you did something wrong. <laughs> Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is, it is paperwork. <laughs> it, if you want men to give you everything you want, you have to manipulate them. I find it weird that we're asking the question of men that why don't you want to get married anymore? Instead of asking the question of why are so many people becoming unmarried? Yeah. There's so many guys that have given up dating, let alone looking for marriage. <laughs> now I'm a heavy romantic, always have been, so I'd love to get married, love to settle down and spend a lifetime with someone. But women these days give up so quickly and move on to the next person. I just view all relationships as temporary. Any relationship I get into, now I'm thinking, how long is this going to last? I'll just enjoy it for the moment. Do I want to give a massive commitment to someone who's not going to stick it out? And this is the way a lot of guys think. So, do, I, do many men want to get married nowadays? Probably not. Especially when they see what their friends have gone through. They have been married. Yeah. <laughs> Avoid. Dodge. Abort. 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 <laughs> long story short, if a woman wants to get married, well, she's yeah. going to be worth marrying. Otherwise... It's not happening. <laughs> if you meet someone new, you're. If you send them a video of your like prior stance <laughs> with other partners, they typically find that hot. <laughs> yeah. I've actually. I don't never... know. I think that... what she said is definitely be hot. Like you meet a new guy, then you send them your prior tips. <laughs> oh man. You gotta know exactly who you are. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. That point, so watching what? together, that's weird. Wait, no, yeah. sorry. The I new upcoming boyfriend would be stoked on viewing. I had that. Yes. And you think most men would feel feel yeah. that way? <laughs> most men would be stoked on seeing videos yes. of their soon-to-be girlfriend having.
with other men. Yeah. Okay, ladies, if you're watching this, under no circumstances should you take yeah. advice from any of these OnlyFans floozies. Okay, 100% what is happening here is that they're trying to sabotage other women by giving them just awful advice so they look better. In comparison, no, a prospective boyfriend would not like to see you and your ex like getting it on. That is no go. This is absolutely intersexual competition. It's a nightmare. 2024, and this is what happens when you stop paying bills for a girl. I just got off work. I come to my car, and this is what I find. Then she left a note on the back of my car. Look at this. Since you won't pay my bills, pay for your window. Period. So this is a little bit of the backstory. This is what happened, you feel me? She hit me up yesterday, right? And she was like, oh, uh, I need you to pay my phone bill. I need you to pay my rent. I need you to pay all this stuff. I told her I ain't paying your bills no more. Find somebody else to do it. And the reason why I cut her off and stopped telling her I'm gonna pay her bills is because every time I text her phone and I call her phone, she always treating me like I'm an option. She don't never respond to my call. She don't never text me back in a reasonable amount of time. So I say, man, it's 2024. We ain't doing that this year. You ain't gonna be treating me like I'm no no second option then when you need your bills paid all of a sudden your phone working you can hit me up if you ain't got that energy to hit me up no other time don't hit me up when your bills did so I told her I wasn't gonna pay no more her bills to do nothing for her. you feel me she ended up trying to argue with me I hung up in her face mm -hmm. you feel me and this is what I found actually your intuition is correct like that girl views you as an option yeah just that guy that you uh, who pay her bills so she only needs you for the bills she's not gonna give you 100 percent. she's gonna give you herself you're not gonna get that from her you're not gonna get her attention you're not gonna get uh, unless she wants her bills paid so if you're not making any money and i'm making money myself i don't think i don't think we're compatible if she's broke my thing is you can take care of her to get to where she needs to get now yeah, once she why do i have to do <laughs> you listen you don't have to do anything but if exactly. you want to be in a productive committed relationship nope. every relationship uh -huh. has their flaws every relationship has their journeys for and sure. their peaks and valleys mm -hmm. so in order for you to get the woman that you want you have to give her something and instill something but, in her to get to where she needs but to go. same thing that you all will have y'all standards right with a man with money, I, a man can have the same thing otherwise. Like so the end question is, so you care how much a woman has? Yes. There's a lot of conversation out there right now about how there are no more masculine men. That men used to be the providers, the protectors, the hunters. And where did they all go? They don't want to be providers anymore. But what we forget is that they were never providers, protectors, or hunters alone. There was always a tribe. There was always a support system and a community. And the way our society has positioned men now is to be an island. They're all alone. And to be masculine is to stuff everything inside and operate by yourself. When we look at biological needs, we need to be part of a community. We need to be part of a group. So maybe the question isn't, where have all the masculine men gone? The question is, where is the support in the community that helped men embrace their masculinity.